going on nation my name is world z and we are back with another wwe 2k22 video today's video is going to be all things creation suite and then some but before we get started thank you guys for all the well wishes and the comments and dms and so on i'm feeling much better the coco v wear is gone i feel a lot better and we're more energetic better than ever so with that being said enough of the sappy stuff let's jump right into today's video <laughs> let go push up Sit up, you cannot pull up to me sitting on the bench while I'm out your bitch and he'll keep So we're gonna start with a million dollar question. God damn, how about those creation slots, huh? Two hundred. Yes. Three hundred. A million. Well, we didn't get a million slots. Instead, we got a hundred just like normal. I know a lot of people are not too thrilled about it, but I've become more aware of the situation as of late. Me personally, back when I used to play by myself, I maybe had 25, 35, and I'm being generous when I say 35 slots. I, I don't know. Some people were telling me like, but Worldsy, we need 200. We need more. Listen, I don't know. Let's say you to each its own, right? But honestly, I run an E-Federation, which by the way, I run the number one E-Federation on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash worldz. The WWA, come check us out right now every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, 6 p.m. EST, except for Sunday, 3 p.m. EST. But I always cap around 95 to 100 slots and that's active competitors. So every E-Fed has their own roles, whether, but I also know people that have 200 and use two different consoles. Two different consoles to have 200 character slots. Again, I wouldn't do that, but let's say you in the comments down below. What do you think about it? I'm all right with it, but I know not everybody else is. So transitioning away from Creation Suite real quick. First off, before we get started into the meat and potatoes of the situation, go on to Forbes.com. Uh, there is a whole thing, link in the description down below. It is gonna be word for word here. My video is just all about paraphrasing, but if you want the actual context here, again, word by word, make sure you go click on the link down below. But anyways here, we're still gonna get blood as normal, but with kind of the recent matches, i.e. AEW, where you starting to see women uh, get some color, if you will, People are asking, are we gonna have that in 2K22 here? And the 2K development team says, blood is still an option in the game, although it is off by default. Blood historically has not been supported for women wrestlers, and that does not change in 2K22. So we're not gonna get those iconic, maybe women death matches or lights out matches. But you know, maybe things can change here. I understand it, it's WWE. They got a piece, uh, appeal to the stockholders, the uh, advertisers as well. So just because we may not be getting 2K22 doesn't mean it couldn't happen in a different game. So we're gonna jump into the creation suite here. Again, if you wanted to read this word for word, link in the description down below here on Forbes here. So Brian asked the question, can you define persona as it is used in the association with the creation suite? And here's what the dev team says. Personas are themes players can apply to their custom superstar. They are broken down into a series of categories such as wrestling, streetwear, sports, cosplay, and others with each category having multiple selections. Players can use these personas as a starting point for their ideal custom superstars, or just pick one they like and jump right into the game. I'm not gonna lie to you, I think that was just a lot of nonsense right there. I don't I don't think we even understand what personas is, I guess. So you have wrestling, streetwear, sports, cosplay, and you don't even have to, you can have a blank slate if you want to. So I guess they're really trying to let the let the uh, consumer believe that there's going to be a lot more creativity here honestly i'm not quite sure again i no idea hopefully we can have a persona where they're talking about oh what you're wearing in terms of your street gear your wrestling attire is obviously going to be different sports cosplay what you're going to do in their interactions backstage or hell maybe even more whatever it is uh beyond the backstage room so who knows, honestly, looking forward to, but uh, what what do you think of that? Lincoln, comment down below what you think, because honestly, I think it was a lot of nonsense to me. Another thing regarding Creation Suite as well, the 2K de development team likes to add, they have 75 body templates in the Creation Suite, 39 male, 36 female. These body types span a wide range of size, shape, and muscularity, including body types much heavier than previously seen in the Creation Suite. We've also included more average body types for players who want to create someone that is not the typical uh, WWE superstar build. Each body can have its height and weight adjusted, allowing them to fall under multiple WWE weight classifications. The thing I'm actually most excited about 
is body types much heavier than previous games, which I like that. on You know, I, I want that kind of Yokozuna-esque character. Maybe he can be a little more athletic than Yokozuna, although, hey, don't you dare dis di uh, disgrace Yokozuna. Man was athletic for his size shape. So hopefully we have something like that, but I do like that they're really trying to span on not everyone could be Jack, bro, or they can be this tall. There's a lot of variety here. Weight classifications as well, going in the cruiserweight, light heavyweight, super heavyweight, and more. Excited about that, and I'm excited to see the wide range, almost a variety, wide range of character creation inside with 2K22. So last thing in this video I want to talk about right now, which by the way, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, touch it, flick it. I don't know, I don't know what else you could do to it, but hit it as hard as you possibly can. Also turn the bell, turn the bell notification icon. I'll never say it right, but just make sure you turn that bell notification icon on. Hard was that. And also it is free 99 to do to subscribe. Make sure you do it as well. It helps support the channel. You guys are really loving this content. I'm going to keep providing it to you, but let's get to it right now. Last but not least, okay. Has physics with chairs and table improved? If so, how? The physics systems have been completely overhauled for 2K22. Weapons such as tables, chairs, kendo sticks, oh my, will now show obvious damage states the more that they are used. This is a great thing right off the bat. Before I continue on, I am tired of the same cookie cutter how the chairs are, the tables in particular. I know it's not gonna be magnetized anymore. You can do table spots anywhere. Same thing with ladders. So I'm very excited that they're more of a physics system. But one thing, if they have it, the trash cans. I don't know about 2K20, but 2K19 was atrocious. Use it one time, it's just kind of bent out. For whatever reason, you can no longer touch the trash can. So if there is gonna be a trash can or other weapons such as that, I wanna be able to use it more time, even if it's damaged or broken. I like that added effect. And in terms of storytelling and wrestling, it adds, a de it adds more depth and layers to it. But tables have seen a significant number of improvements. First and foremost, we have a more reliable way of predicting when and how someone collides with a table to help us better determine when a table will break versus collapsing. As for breaking tables, those are now completely dynamic instead of being animation driven. Players will never see a table break the same way twice. Interesting words here by the dev team. So usually what I hate doing table matches when someone wants it in on WWA on twitch.tv for slash world Z. I don't like I don't like booking those type of matches because the table matches are so predictable. Get your opponent down, pop your finisher or go into the corner, hit them and the table breaks. You know when it's gonna break. This right here is not gonna be animation driven or just kind of seems cookie cutter. It's gonna be more organic, more unique. So maybe you can bust that table quick and early right here. Maybe it's gonna take a longer time to break the table. Maybe it's more than one finisher, who knows? But I do like the concept of it's not just going to be the same thing. Boom, hit a finish and it's done. At least that's the way I'm reading it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I like it. Never see a table break the same way twice. How many ways can you break a table? I don't know that comment. Selling tickets here, pal. Whatever, Larry. I'm selling tickets here, brother. And that was another thing, too. I, I, I really kind of caught my eye. With, so they can predict now when someone collides with a table to help better understand when it's going to break versus collapse. So maybe it's just determined on the strength of the move to the strength of your creator wrestler or, or you know, for that being the, the custom care or regular characters in WW2K22. So I'm, I'm not really sure. But again, we'll see. Time will tell. Right. We got less than a month. March 8th for the early access of WW2K22. And I could go on and on right now about the roster reveal we've been seeing with the legends. Uh, shout out to China that she got her opportunity. Thank God we get to see China in a 2K game. Or we could talk about how Finn Balor is an 87. Don't get me started on that. But Nation, let me know what you guys think of the comments down below. Are you guys more sold on 2K22? Have you pre-ordered the game yet? I have right now. Which one thing in particular I found really weird. Someone brought to my attention. Uh, as a matter of fact, today at twitch.tv forward slash world Z. If for those that are WW Supercar fans, you cannot get the WW Supercar code 
through the NWO for life edition, which NWO for life is digital. I still don't understand that. But the deluxe edition, if you get the physical copy of the deluxe edition, you'll get the WWE super card code. But paying more for the legendary NWO for life edition, you won't get the super card. What the f I don't know. 2K always surprises me. That's that's just who they are. Time will tell, Nation. All we can do is wait till March 8th, get our hands on it. Which, by the way, if you want to watch myself play with a copy of WW2K22, we'll be giving away a copy of WW2K22 March 8th, 10 a.m. EST at twitch.tv forward slash worldz. Go drop a follow. It is free 90 deuce, free 99 to do so, but it's also free 99 to hit the thumbs up button. Turn the bell notification icon. I did it again. I got it right. And also it is free 99 to subscribe. So hit all of that down below. You can see my socials as well to see me uh, on Twitter, Instagram, right in here on Utah, YouTube and the tickety talk. It's all of that and more nation. Um, I will be doing a lot of WW2K22 content. So if you like what you're seeing from me with the news updates, you're going to love what you see in the near future. Thank you guys so much for everything. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Forever the nation. For the love of God, 2K, hurry the f*** up.